Hello everyone. So today we are going to start with solid edge. We are going to start with first lecture of solid edge, in which we are going to see sketcher, some small settings about sketcher, how to start with a drawing, and we are also going to see here line command. So to start with, I am going to select new. This is the starting interface, and here we need to select new. After clicking on new, you have these options here. You can see. Every unit it is shown in ISO. Now you can see here different platforms are given here, such as isometric part, then sheet metal, isometric assembly, isometric drafting, and isometric weldments. Now one thing is common here is that we are going to see all the units in ISO. So if you want to change the unit, then here one option is given that is edit list. Suppose instead of ISO, I want to work in inches. Then I will select this edit list option here, and here you can see. Suppose I want inches, so I'll select NC inch, NC metric, DIN, GB, JIS metric, and isometric. So here are the different units been given. So whatever requirement we are having for the units, you can select it. I'm going to go with the default that is ISO metric. I'll say OK, and in isometric, I'm going to select isometric part so as to start sketcher and part modeling. So I'll select isometric part. You can see the symbol of isometric part document here. I'll select it here. It will take a little bit time to load. We are going to see Solid Edge 23 version here. There are different versions used in industry. Mostly 19 to 22 are used. But we are going to see Solid Edge 23. There is not much difference given. Only little bit interface has been changed here. So when you start the interface here, you can see at the left side it is here the area that is model tree area. Here it is the title. The option given here as base. It will show the UCS icon. If I hide this base, it will hide the UCS icon. Here the material option has been given. We will see the material option later after completing the 3D commands. Here there are options given for base reference planes, so it is optional here. If you want to show or hide the reference plane, you can control it by here. You just need to click on this eye symbol, and now the planes are visible. If I again click on this symbol, the planes will be hidden. So you can control display of the planes as well as UCS icon. Now, if you are new to Solid Edge and you are starting the Solid Edge first time, here the interface will be shown in ordered form. There is one more option given that is synchronize. So sometimes for the newcomers in Solid Edge, the interface here it will show as synchronize only. Now if you say synchronize, you can see the upper ribbon will change, and you will see all the sketcher tools as well as 3D tools both are shown in same ribbon. But if I change this interface, if I want to change this interface, I'll right click on this synchronize again on this yellow tab. And say transition to order, and so we are going to see all the tabs such as sketcher, sheet metal, part modeling, assembly, in ordered form only. So if you want to change the interface here, you can right click and say synchronize. Again, if you want to change, right click and again say transition to order. This way, this ribbon will be changed here. If you want to by default set one only, then you can go to files. And here we have options for settings. In settings, we are going to go for customize. And here you can select the option start part and sheet metal documents in synchronize or ordered. So I have set this by default as ordered only. That's why whenever I start my drawing, it is always been shown in ordered. But if I have not selected this ordered, then it would have been shown me as a synchronized mode. So it is up to you. If you want to change the setting here, you can change the setting also here. Say it close here after changing the setting. Now it is showing ordered only. After that, we are going to move for sketcher tab. We are going to start sketching first. We are going to see line command. So to start sketch, you just need to select this option here in ribbon that is sketch. Select the sketch tab and then you have to select the plane. And if you want to exit the sketch, you need to say Close sketch. Here one toolbar will appear. You just need to say cancel again after closing this sketch, and now you are out of this sketch completely again. So in other softwares, 
it was like select the plane first and then say sketch but in solid edge first you need to say sketch and then select the plane required as soon as you select the sketch option now as soon as you say sketch this tab will appear here it will show the selection type or it will prompt you the next step you want to complete so it is asking you for coincide plane or selection of plane as soon as you say sketch so again you can see here sketch this toolbar will appear prompting as select the coincide plane i'll select the required plane so as to say sketch i'll say it front plane here and now this plane has been activated you can see this plus symbol is it has been shown here it is not the plus symbols but they are planes actually so if you want to hide this plane go to base reference plane option in model tree and hide the planes here and now again to put the plane in normal position you just need to select the tab as sketch view you can see this option here lower right side just click on the option here and now the plane is been activated and normal to the front plane you can start the sketching now so i'll select the line option click on the line command and then click on the origin to start now as soon as i drag the line one input option showing the dimension is been appearing here but we are not going to put the dimension here after completing only the sketch then we are going to go for dimensioning so here you can see this line is coming vertical as it is showing one symbol also it has been highlighted as a vertical symbol here if i tilt this line this symbol is gone you can see near the cursor point this vertical symbol has been highlighted as soon as you incline the line the symbol has been vanished so it will show that whether this line is coming vertical or not same for horizontal also you can see the horizontal symbol near the tip of the line as soon as i make the line incline the symbol is gone so in this way you can make the line horizontal or vertical so i'll make this line vertical here and now i'll go for smart dimension option here select the line click on this side of the line and put up the value required this note will appear asking for auto scale sketch say so don't show again and it will auto scale the sketches now so the black color of this sketch will symbolize whether this sketch is fully constrained or not or fully defined or not same as solid walls now one option is there that is if you go in this inspect option here one option has been given relationship colors suppose if this option is by default off then even if you constrain the objects the colors will be shown in blue color only so here if i go in this inspect option and put off this option relationship colors the color is appearing blue if i put on this option it is showing as completely constrained by black color so it is very useful tool and it is better to keep this option on only so as to highlight the fully defined sketches in black color this option is given here also in this tab near interlace sketch here the second number option is shown for relationship color so if i put off this option now it is been showing as blue color if i put on again it will show in a black color as a fully defined sketch and now if this sketch is not defined suppose if i draw one more line now you can see the differences this is shown in blue color and this is shown in black color so this line is completely constrained and this one is not constrained so again i'll go for smart dimension put up the value here as 80 mm and now this line is fully constrained as the color is been changed so it is better to put on or off this option here relationship colors now i'll make one incline line and you can see the symbol difference in vertical line the symbol is appearing the plus sign symbol you can see here also it symbolizes whether the line is straight vertical or horizontal again you can see the symbol here also in horizontal line indicating that line is horizontal but here on the incline line you cannot see the symbol here as this line is incline so if you want to define this incline line we need one angular dimension so for angle dimensions instead of going for smart dimension i am going to select this option here angle between you cannot put up the angle dimension using smart dimension option you just need to go on this option angle between and then put up the angles so i'll select both the lines while selecting just avoid this point and then select the lines only put up the angle required 
and now this angle has been set as 45 degrees for the line you just need to show the length so for length again i'll go for smart dimension select the line and now you can see the align length is not being shown either it is showing vertical or horizontal length so for align length i'm going to select here the option in properties so in properties tab here is option given horizontal or vertical you just need to select this arrow and go for this by two points option or you can also go for automatic option now in automatic it will either show vertical horizontal or incline all the three options will be set here so in automatic it is been showing as the align length is 84.33 i click on this option and change the value here so in this way you can update the dimension for the align length you just need to select the smart dimension and say the change here you want if you want only horizontal and vertical dimensions then select this option it will only give the horizontal and vertical values for the line but if you want align dimensions then go for this two points option or automatic option so in this way you can assign the align dimensions also now if i draw this line other than origin i will start this line from here at any random position then also you can define these sketches you just need to select the length put up the length here say 100 mm but as it is not constrained and we have not made it from origin we need to go for smart dimension again and you need to define it from origin so this is the difference if you draw it from origin itself you don't need to give other dimensions but if you don't define it from origin or make it from origin you have to define it from origin by giving one x distance that is horizontal distance i'll say it instead of two points i'll go for horizontal and vertical so one x distance has been given here and then again go for the same option smart dimension select both the points and here i'll say vertical distance now this line is been shown here as completely defined so instead of one dimension for line i needed three dimensions to completely define the line just because i have not made it from origin that's why so in this way you can completely define or constrain the objects here so if i want to end this sketch here i'll say it close sketch and you need to say finish and cancel now you are out of sketch you can see in model tree it is showing sketch 2 has been made here and again if you want to edit this sketch and go for this sketch again select the line or sketch either you can select it from screen or you can select it from model tree also and the second option with pencil sign it is showing here as edit profile you just need to click on this option and then this sketch has been again activated so as to edit this sketch say close sketch finish and so in this way you can make the line or completely constrain the objects so after exiting this sketch again we will say edit edit definition or edit profile we'll go for edit profile option here we'll focus again on this symbol that is vertical horizontal symbol defining the line as vertical line or horizontal line suppose i draw one line again here and now this time i have drawn purposely as a inclined line i'll select this relation here you can see the relation tab i'll go for the relation as vertical horizontal and click on this line now this line you can see it has been made vertical again if i tilt this line little bit more towards horizontal direction or towards horizontal side again go for the same relation it will go for the horizontal relation so it depends on how much the line has been tilted and in which direction it is close to i'll make one more line suppose it is tilted more towards the horizontal direction then by clicking the relation it will go for horizontal only and suppose it is tilted more on the side of the vertical side then if i say this line as vertical or horizontal it will go for vertical relation so it depends on how much it has been tilted and on which side it has been tilted by that only you can define whether the line is going to go for vertical or horizontal now suppose if i want to go for the dimension between two points so by smart dimension you can give dimension to the objects directly clicking on them 
if you want to edit the dimension just single click on the dimension and the value you can edit here if you want to undo just press on control z now if i want to put the dimension between two points instead of object or two lines then you cannot put the dimension by using smart dimension option as it will not select the points here you can see points are not been highlighted so to put up the dimension between two points here one separate option has been given that is distance between select that option go for the two points here and you can see vertical or horizontal dimension has been appearing if i want incline or align dimension again i'll go for pi two points option and here you will have the align dimension i'll go for horizontal vertical only so in this way you can put up the dimension between two points using the option as distance between and in angle between you can only go for the angle dimension and smart dimension is used only for the objects selection such as line to line circle to line line to object line to rectangle if i want to coincide this end point of the line on the start point of this line then you have the relation here that is coincide or connect here it is pronounced as connect in other software it is given as coincide so i select this connect relation and select the required points to be connected it is showing the note saying the requested change conflicts the existing relationship it is showing as the error only now it is because we have given the dimension here in between two points so if i want to connect these two points then i have to delete this dimension and then go for the relation as connect so i'll select the dimension and then delete the dimension first and then go for the connect option select both the points and this line or points are been coincided with each other so in this way you can connect the lines you can make the lines horizontal or vertical you can give the dimensions so this was the first session for solid edge lecture 1 we are going to continue solid edge further lectures in upcoming sessions we have also completed lectures for solid works you can see the playlist four dimensions infotech please like share and subscribe till then thank you